In this video, I'll be showing you how to create um, your site topography in Revit. So the exact points that I'll be going through in the video, uh, first point is site massing. Um, we'll also be looking at contour settings uh, for your topography, uh, creating 3D realistic views of the topography, and finally, um, you know, going through the concept of a section box. So let's move on to Revit. Um, in order to create your site massing, go to Massing and Site, click on Topple Surface. Now, of course, we get this warning because I'm, I'm in ground floor currently. So my floor, floor plan is set to ground floor. Uh, you gotta, you got to be in Site in order to create your Topple Surface. So make sure you're in Site. Um, and then go once you're... So um, after we select top of surface under massing um, go to place point and set your elevation so let's say start off with a 5000 um, and then just you know click on the screen to add these sort of points um, let's decrease the elevation to 4500 and let's just you know add sort of these points and then maybe go 2000 so that's you know so something like that maybe um, once you're done click finish and um, in order to have a look at it in 3d uh, go to 3d as you can see this is what the top of surface looks like. Now it's very obvious that, you know, visualization wise, this looks sort of like a plate. Um, so in order to improve the visual aspect of it, what you can do is you can go to, um, you can click on, so we need the section box right here. So click on section box and you get that box that surrounds sort of topography. Um, so let me try to get this into something which is which looks more like a you know a top of surface. So just drag these arrows into you know your object. So you can see the surface is starting to form a better shape. Drag down, there you go, this looks way better. So there you have it, our, our top of surface. Now, if we wanted to look at the contour settings, uh, go back to site, um, and then press that arrow, and we can play with these settings. So maybe we want it to start at 250 and go by 500 increments click on apply and notice how this changes now so this becomes narrower click on apply click ok um, and then you can briefly uh, see these lines in 3d so that's basically the way that we would create a topo surface in in Revit.